Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomos Biology. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the ICMR BRET exam strategy and target scores. Many students ask me this, like what score should we target to qualify ICMR BRET examination? As the examination has been reshuffled, remodeled, then what should be your target score to qualify ICMR BRET examination? So here I am going to share a strategy exam strategy which is going to help you to fetch the score which is safe for qualifying ICMR BRET examination. So let's begin and we are going to talk about that with the help of this mind map which you can get from Shomu's biology application. If you download the application inside the application free study material window you will get this uh, mind map. So let's look at the ICMR BRET exam strategy and target score. Here you have new ICMR BRET exam format and the format what it is let me just give you a quick review total questions 150 all compulsory total marks 150 total time are uh, two hours sections three sections section A is aptitude 50 questions 50 marks compulsory section B cross disciplinary from every single part of the life sciences subject 50 question 50 marks section C subject specific based on the subject that you selected during the form filler. 50 question, 50 marks. And uh, marking scheme, correct answer, plus one marks. N incorrect answer, minus 0 0.25 marks. 25% negative marking. If you unattempt a question, you'll get a zero score for that. Very straightforward. Next is the target score to safely qualify. And our target score here would be 85 plus. The net score altogether should be 85 plus more than 85 you need to score. The total uh, is 150 but you need to score more than 85 to have a edge over the others. For general EWS category uh, the score that you need to uh, achieve is 85 to 90. That should be a safe score for you to qualify ICMR BRET examination. Expected cutoff will be somehow 55 percent that is 82.5 somehow close to 55% should be the expected cutoff. So if the expected cutoff is 82.5 marks and if you score 85 or more than 85, then you have a safe score to qualify as a general or EWS category. Then OBC category, the safe score will be 78 to 83 marks. For SC and ST category, uh, it should be 70 to 75 marks. So I'll always tell you to get the higher score. For general category, keep your target as 100. If you keep your target as 100, you are going to end up in scoring 85 or 90. For OBC category, keep your target as 90. If you keep your target 19, then somewhere you will reach 80 or 80 to 83 something. For SCST category, keep your target as 80, then you can reach 70 or 75. So 10 marks should be uh, considered as a gap because whatever target you set, you will never reach the target or you, you cannot overreach the target. You will reach obviously lesser than the target. So that's why keep 10 marks higher as a target uh, value. Uh, what is the safe attempt a stat strategy here? First of all, prioritize accuracy over speed. I personally would like to tell you is that those who are going with high lightning speed of answering questions end up in making most of the mistakes if they are not very confident. If you are that much confident, if you have solved enough PYQs, then you can go fast. Otherwise, prioritize accuracy over speed because you need to score less, not very uh, huge number of questions. If you attempt 100 to 110 marks of questions, that will give you good um, span to score 90 or 85 above. If your target accuracy is 90% and if you to attempt the total score of 100 to 110, then with the help of the 90% accuracy, you can easily score 85 or more than 85. You can score 90, even more than 90. That will help you to achieve the safe score to qualify the ICMR BRET examination. But if you go fast answering the questions and your accuracy drops to 80% of the total marks of 110 questions out of 150. In that case, the accuracy will drop and you will struggle uh, to qualify the exam. You might struggle to qualify the exam. So obviously prioritize accuracy over speed. Next is the section wise a strategy and time management that I'm going to share. There are three sections, section A, B and C. Section A aptitude, uh, recommended attempt, 
50 questions will be there but I'll recommend you to go with the 30 to 35 questions because as a biology student I believe that will be difficult for you to go maximum question in section A but uh, the, the numerical aptitude, the reasoning part that is out there which will help you to at least answer 25 to 30 questions within 30 minutes. So won't spare more than 30 minutes here, 30 to 35 minutes max, that's it. Strategy solve easy questions. The strategy should be to solve easy question in section one, A. Don't try to overthink. If you're overthinking a question in section A, you are going to end up in answering a wrong answer. So don't overthink, solve easy ones and mark rest for the review. Okay, so 30 marks would be very good if you score from section A. Next is the section B, cross disciplinary. If you are good enough in the overall life science field, if you're from life science background, if you're from bio, biotechnology background, microbiology background, nowadays the college syllabus is kind of overall life science based syllabus. So you'll be able to answer most of the questions. So your recommended attempt should be 40 out of 50 and recommended time should be 40 minutes. So for every question, you should devote one minute, not more than one minute, so especially for the section B questions because these are mostly direct questions and they are direct uh, type of questions, memory based questions. So 40 minutes uh, recommended, 40, max to max 45 minutes attempt 40 questions. If you are attempting 40 to 45 questions, that's very good. Strategy, high accuracy focus for fundamentals of the biology. You should focus on accuracy over speed. And the third one is section C, subject specific. Here the recommended attempt is again 35 to 40 questions. Again recommended time frame. 45 minutes I would suggest strategy maximum attempt highest accuracy should be required here because this is your core subject score strength of yours you selected this topic to be appeared in the exam so this should be your core strength you should answer the questions with highest accuracy for this section C okay and the time that you should devote is 45 minutes the strategy is to attempt maximum questions here maximum attempts here the maximum attempts so because in in this part c the section c the more you read and go through the questions the better or higher chances you would have uh, to answer them so make sure that you have it next is the final uh, review five minutes for the final review to check all the questions that you marked earlier and haven't selected the answers yet but you have a doubt sometimes a 50 50 doubt will be there in many questions so for the last five minutes you just go through the questions and sometimes while you answer enough number of mcqs you get better equipped with your brain to answer them faster so maybe uh, if you miss a question earlier but now at the end somehow now the question comes in your hand, the answer comes in your head and you get there to answer that. So for that, 5 minutes to 10 minutes required. I know many people uh, don't keep, in fact 99% people forget to keep this but this 5 to 10 minutes are going to decide whether you are going to qualify or not. Very, very important. Those who qualify always, always keep this, keep this 5 minutes uh, of time. That's why I'm zooming in, okay. It's very, 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 very important, okay. And the final recommendation that I would suggest to you here is that do not guess randomly because if you guess randomly, you'll incur penalty of 25% minus 0.25 score. Only educated guess is uh, provided for two options eliminated. If you have 50-50 chance and if you have educated guess, then educated guessing is only allowed. Don't guess randomly. Know when to skip. If you already... Uh, spend 60 to 90 seconds to a question that means if you spend one minute to one and a half minute already to a question and you are not getting close to the answer leave it don't fall for that question this affair of you with your question will end up in costing you a lot of marks and a time so don't involve with a question don't attach mentally with a question it's just a question so if you forget if you devote one minute one and a half minute you can't get the answer leave it that's better leaving means zero score but false answering means minus 0 0.25 remember that always leaving is better than answering wrong in this examination practice mocks build stamina 
and time management with the help of mock practice it will make your brain think like the way it should work during the examination and also uh, practicing mock tests and practicing previous year's question papers equip you to understand what you need to do and the practical scenario and also help to calm your nerves uh, and uh, also help you to, to answer the question in a proper manner. So that's the final thought, that's the bottom line here and that's all regarding the ICMR BRET exam strategy to get to the target score and that will fetch you the qualification for this examination. I believe this video helps you out. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. And if you wish to get uh, this mind map, then download Shomu's Biology application. Inside the free study material, you'll, you'll find this. And also, you can always uh, buy our study material package for ICMR, BRET, for CSN, NET, for all the, all the other examinations. The number is given. Contact us. Get the details. If you want to get the, this, this particular mind map that we shared, then uh, download Shomu's Biology application, go inside the free study material and you are going to find it. Next, if you want to get the study material package from us, the recorded lecture which is going to help you in ICMR, BRET, CSI, NET, get life science, one package helps all, right? You can get it from Shomu's Biology. With five books, the price is 8,900. Without five books, the price is 7,900. Only five books, 3,900. That's the charge. That's what you can get from us. If you wish to get it, then contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com where you can get a study material page. Uh, from that page, you can place the order or directly contact us over WhatsApp or call and find out the details of the package. If you like it, then you can proceed with the package which is going to help you and if you wish to join Shomu's Biology online coaching the registration for the next new batch of the coaching is going on so contact the given number for the upcoming new session of CSI Net Life Science which is going to help you for not only CSI Net Life Science but also get life sciences ICMR BRET okay as well as it's going to help you different institutional examination like uh, the ISARs, PhD entrance examination, IISC, TIFR, all these examinations. All the very best for the upcoming exam and wish you the best. Whether you take our material, join us or don't join us, but we wish you always the best from our side. This channel is there to help you with the free videos. More than 4,200 subjective free videos that you can get and read and prepare. And those videos are still valid because these are fundamental concepts. So stay tuned to this channel, like this video, subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends, family members and colleagues so that they get to know about this.